hey guys. Oh. Oh man. I got actually a pretty good night's sleep last night. Let me put my hat on so I actually look somewhat presentable. Um, yeah, I figured I'd do a daily, uh, a day in the life of the $500 van. And uh, we are uh, getting ready to head home here in um, a few couple weeks, uh, which will take another week to make it home. Um, I would like to get going kind of now because I've, I've actually got work lined up so I can start getting uh you know to work but uh but it, it is what it is we'll we'll make things uh, happen so we'll uh kind of show you here <clears throat> our setup we basically are just uh some coffee from the night uh, uh from yesterday and uh we put a little shelf in here just to uh try to give a little bit of the of uh thing the plan is to put a little um, floor in here and we're I think we're gonna doctor this thing out and try to get by with it for at least uh through three months um anyway yeah I just have kind of organized it the best I can and we'll just work on it quite a bit more when we get back up to Michigan once we're working we can really sink some uh, uh a few dollars into this and making it really uh, a much more campable unit but uh anyway let's go get some coffee this morning All right, guys, so we got up in this morning. We got some coffee, of course, and we are actually going to go and uh, do a big kayak. Well, not a big kayak trip, but we're going to go do some kayaking. As I said, I picked up a kayak for 50 bucks, and, uh, and uh, we. Uh, this guy's from Honduras, and he's been. Uh, he works as an engineer here, and that's uh, Josh's uh, dad, my boyfriend. So that's uh, Josh, and uh, that's Rober. He's uh, come down from New York, and they own this. They bought this for like 3,500 bucks, and then fixed it all up. And uh, so, anyway, that's what we're all doing. We're going to do some kayaking today, and enjoy, and have a little fun. We may as well, because I'm, uh, like I said, my time's limited. I'm going to got to get back and get some uh, money in the coffer, because it's uh, I'm coughing up pennies to try and get home. All right, we are off to the kayaking spot. Uh, we're just about here. We're gonna actually kayak out into some of these islands out here that you can see. <clears throat> this is kind of a, I like this spot in many ways. Um, there's some really cool places here that me and uh, the dog, I brought the dog down during the week and we've kind of hung out. Um, there's some really cool islands right out here that we've, I've been wanting to paddle out to. I think I will this week because um, I've only got this week and next week and then I'm gonna bail out of here and work my way north on my first destination is, is gonna be Panama City to go up and see Butch and see say hi to him for one night and uh, um, I want to go to um, my one of my little favorite places I like to go to Tootsie's and listen to some country music um, and then we'll, we'll uh, shoot north and uh, go up to Clifton and fish some bluegills up there and uh, probably take another week to get home I mean that's kind of the plan and that's just because trying to burn everything I can when it comes to the the um but I get you know I can get back to work at the store here in about three weeks so that's kind of what I'm shooting for and we'll door dash and and uh, uber eats and do roadie stuff all the way all the way to the north um just trying to pay for the gas to get get home and stuff and some food but, uh, but anyway, yeah, we're just up here a little bit. We're going to uh, flop the uh, kayaks in and do a little paddling around and just enjoy this 80-degree weather. Anyway, guys, we are uh, here at Rusty Bellies. We paddled down probably, oh, maybe a mile, mile and a half, something like that. And coming down, like I said, we're going to come down and have one drink. And uh, we, all, uh, we all did the kayaking here. And, but uh, we uh, threw two kayaks up here and rest them in here, tied everything up. Guy caught a couple of fish here, I noticed. This guy over here uh, 
uh, spear a couple hogfish, he said, with his uh, dive gear or snorkeling or whatever he did there. So, anyway, there's some fishing here we seen uh, yesterday, which I didn't have the phone because it's hard to take it in the dry bag and get it out. Uh, a couple of dolphins were mating, and it was really cool. I've never seen that before. Um, but this is a nice little place. Like I said, we're going to have one more one drink and mosey our way, uh, mosey our way on and uh, on back to uh, back to the back to the van. Well, guys. We have uh, kind of come back to the van and everything, and uh, I, I'm going to try and get some other footage of, I meant to get some footage on the kayaking and stuff on the way back, but I was just kind of in a hurry. We're, we ended up running way late, um, but we're back at the van. Uh, we're parked at Lowe's tonight. Um, I like Lowe's because I can usually pick up internet, and what I found with Lowe's um, is it's a little, you don't have a, bad clientele coming through there but but low sometimes is not going to let you stay there so they might ask you to leave but the walmarts um and i love them dearly of the walmarts in many ways because they're convenient going and get stuff but with walmart um where i'm at right now i'm in uh basically i'm in largo and in uh in clearwater and that kind of stuff and in tarpon springs um you get a really really weird clientele of people walking through uh, through the course of the night um excuse me the van dwellers are fine uh, most of them are no problem but you just get some really weird clientele coming and going and you always worry i ended up i didn't i didn't mention this i i haven't done a video in a while i ended up getting my shoes stolen um i left my shoes kind of under the van and kind of put them under the van so you know i didn't think anybody would you know so i just left them under the van you know it was like no big deal because I took them off before I got in, so I wouldn't track any dirt in. Somebody stole my freaking shoes. Um, so I had to buy another pair of shoes, cheapies, cheap pair out of Walmart. So I was kind of, so that's what I mean. You got that clientele coming and going. So there's a good chance of somebody maybe stealing something or or maybe trying to check your doors or maybe maybe the worst case scenario is getting under and cutting your catalytic converter, uh, something like that. So, so that's kind of where that's at. But... Uh, Anyway, we're watching a movie, and uh, I'm going to have some dinner, and that's basically it. So, all right, guys. Well, we always uh, end up doing a little cooking here at the end of our day. And uh, we're going to cook up some sausage and mix it in with some... Uh, mix it in with some um, uh, mac and cheese. And I'll put a little bit of... I'd put it outside, but it ends up too much wind, and it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't cook as well with the winds blowing, needs a little windscreen or whatever, but we got new carpet in the van and everything, and, you know, it's nothing great, but it's, uh, I mean, I don't like the, the smoke in here and stuff, it kind of, it will smell for a while, but that eh, is what it is, we make it, we make it work, uh, who cares, so we'll have a little that for the eat, and, and couple of beers call it a night and get ready to do a little more tomorrow or whatever um probably do some door dashing and like i said we're just about ready to leave here in the next couple of days we're ready to get out of here um i got a little bit of barbecue sauce put a little bit of that in there a little water in there just to you know, put all those drippings and stuff into mac and cheese. And that'll just give it a little steam and a little bit of goodies in there. If I had an onion, I'd do up an onion, but I don't have one, so we'll uh, do this up, make it work. As I said, my other stove in here is that butane, and we're going to get rid of that. You can never find the butane uh, things, and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going back to the propane because you can get a little propane, or I've got, I've actually got some propane tanks, especially up at my dad's, and I'm just so fed up with uh, not uh, not being able to ever get butane. I've been to three different WalMarts, and they're always out of the butane, so I, I don't know what the problem is with that, but whatever. So that's what we're going to have. 